warm welcome for this presentation. It's a very colorful occasion. So let me start by wishing you a very happy Valentine's Day. And uh, I'll be covering a subject which is called supply chain strategies for retail. So to start with, I'll give you a perspective on the economic scenario in the country, followed by uh, the retail perspective in India. And then I'll talk about uh, what is required in the supply chain industry, what are the current trends, and what is required in the industry in the coming two years in order for the industry to evolve as well as for the retail industry to you know, grow in conjunction with supply chain. And then we'll finally talk about some strategic uh, parameters that we need to look at in terms of supply chain. This is the flow of the presentation. So talking about the economic scenario in India, if you talk about the past, you've had a very bureaucratic setup in India. You've had a very protected market to take its back. We were not growing as a country in a very big way. We had a very, very productive regime. And we had an underdeveloped infrastructure. Of course, you can't really say that we have a very uh, well developed infrastructure even today, even in major metros and here to pay the towns. But if you look at two decades back, it was much less in terms of its status. And uh, if you look at current status right now, in the last two decades, we have had a civilization happen. And we've had a private sector which grew up from, you know, from where it was to leaps and bounds. And today we are a great economy in terms of our private sector growth. And as a country and as an economy, we're not just having one sector growth, we're having growth in multiple sectors of the economy, which is one of our biggest trends. Uh, domestic uh, you know, consumption is huge, and we are a consumption that is one which is one of our strengths. And in terms of the environment, if you look at it, we are one of the world's largest democracies. We are the largest democracy in terms of population in the world. And uh, today we have a great enabling environment and a very stable government per se and which is, of course, one of our biggest strengths. Talk about our democratic edge. We have definitely got a democratic edge in terms of our population. 60% of our population is 30 years or less. And this population has a very clear consumption pattern and a very fast-changing mindset in terms of how they consume things. So their propensity to consume is very, very high, but at the same time, the way they consume is also changing and evolving very fast. And they you know, also are impulsive buyers in many aspects, and that's where technology is also growing in the country. So if you look at the urban population, we have the second largest urban population in the world, 29% of the total, and by 2025, this is going to change, and it's going to become 37.8%, making it one of the largest urban populations in the world, which has its pluses and its what minuses as well. And what its, what its effect is going to be on retail as well as on supply chain, I'll talk about that later. Okay, we also have got a powerful production and consumption force. So we have got a large pool of professionals and technocrats. We've got the largest pool of English-speaking manpower out the US. And manufacturing force is also very huge. Labor cost as a percentage of value added is one of the lowest among the Asian countries. Talk about population. What two decades back was one of our biggest weaknesses is as of day one of our biggest trends. Every six person in the world, our total population is 6.5 billion, is an in Indian. And we all know that worldwide, whichever, you know, whichever geography we talk about, whichever developing country we talk about, most of the you know, developing countries in the world have got Indians at very prominent places, whether it's America or Britain, and so on and so forth. And in talk, and talk about the population construct, we have for under 15 years, 370 million for the population, 15 to 64 years, 747 million, and 65 plus we have 58 million. So 60% of the population in the country is 30 years or less which is our big demographic dividend, of course. And 15% of the people are in the age group of 0 to 6 years. Now, this is going to make our working class one of the highest, one of the largest in the world. I'm talking about people in the age group of 22 to 60 years. And they're all going to have retail consumption, which is going to take place in the next few years in a big way. And India, per se, adds an Australia to its population every year. So we add close to 30 million people. Australia has a population of around 25 million. And India adds around 25, around 30 million people to its population every year. And if we talk about Delhi, Delhi has a population which is larger than Australia, and uh, Mumbai has a population which is larger, larger than Australia as well. So we talk about really huge pockets of growth and huge pockets of consumption as well as production, which are there in the country. Okay, talk about ownership and consumption. I'll talk about some aspects of retail. Uh, this is the market which, of course, as I mentioned, grows by 30 million consumers. Now, what do we consume? 75 percent of uh, 75 million Indian families own a television. 35 million households own two meters. Second largest producer of two meters in the world. We know that. Every second urban household has a bank account, and consumer finance market has grown to 20 million as of now. 
and uh, 30,000 ads and newspapers we have in the country. We have 75 million seller subscribers, and surprise, surprise, the growth rate is still 35%. So it's huge in terms of, you know, if you talk about telephony as an as a, uh, industry, it's huge. And five personal computers for every 1,000 people. Now, this is, of course, one of the major industries in India. IT is a big industry, the hardware per se is big, but five PCs for every 1,000 people. So it's minuscule if you compare this to America. So definitely this is going to grow for the next maybe 20 years continuously. And we also have large producer of cigarettes.